Hello and welcome to another of our how-to videos. This time we'll be looking at some great ways to use a campus board. It's important to note that this is not for beginners climbers and does carry a high level of risk of injury if used by inexperienced climbers or people climbing at a low grade. To help avoid injuring yourself when using a campus board, you should be over 18 years of age, have been bouldering and hangboarding for at least two years and be climbing at V5 or above. Before you start your campus session, make sure you are thoroughly warmed up. You can also check out our how to warm up the climbing video if you need some ideas. When using campus rungs, it's important to use a half crimp position and never a full crimp with a thumb over the top. This will help reduce the chances of injury. We are going to show you six different exercises that you can use on a campus board. Each one will help build a slightly different type of strength that are appropriate for different levels of climbers. Most climbing walls have a variety of rung sizes, allowing you to make the exercises easier or harder depending on the size of the rung that you use. First up we have feet on laddering. Feet on laddering is a great way to start if you've not used a campus board before, and because of its low impact nature it can be used as part of your warm up. This technique can also be used to train endurance. You can either count the number of cycles you can complete or measure your progress by the amount of time you can keep going for. You can make the exercise slightly harder by removing one of your feet. This also will require more core tension to stop your body swinging about whilst moving up and down. The next step and the basis for most campus exercises is the laddering technique. Without using any feet, climb the rungs using alternate hands and try and avoid matching the rungs if you can. Once you can ladder up and down the board and feel comfortable with this exercise, you can start to increase the difficulty by missing rungs out. So for example, laddering up using only every other rung. Bumping is a great technique for building lock-off strength and for getting used to reaching further up the campus board. Start with both hands on one rung and then keep moving one hand up bumping up from each rung as high as you feel comfortable and then work back down. Once completed, swap arms and repeat on the other side. Max height. This is all about generating the maximum force you can. Start with both hands on one rung and campus as high as possible and then match your high hand or try and pull through to a higher rung. The jump and catch is a great exercise for building contact finger strength. Stand underneath the board and just jump up and catch the highest rung you can with both hands. You can aim for both hands to hit the same rung or for increasing your coordination you can jump up and try and catch two different rungs. Similar to the jump and catch, but this time we start with the foot on the foothold. This helps mimic a lot of the dynamic movements in bouldering, and so is a great way of practicing this. Again, start with both hands on the bottom rung, one foot on a foothold, and then jump and catch a rung as high as you can. Once again, we try and match the top rung or pull through to a higher one. Doubles. This is a more advanced exercise that should only be tried after gaining experience on the other techniques. It trains explosive power and contact finger strength. Hang on the campus rung and in one dynamic movement, campus both hands at the same time to the next rung. Once you've got used to this technique, you can then start to try and make it harder by, again, missing out runs. So, for example, only using every other run.
There are loads of other canvas exercises that you can try, but these should give you some good ideas to work on. Remember that it's important to only train powerful dynamic movements after an extensive warm up, but also before you get too tired. Avoid thrashing about, and if your form starts to decline, then end your canvas session. You can always focus on other areas of climbing training. We hope you found this video useful. Do check out our other climbing tutorial videos, and we also make vlogs about our own personal climbing adventures. Remember to hit the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.